All right, good morning, my friends. Here we go on another fantastic day to change the world. So here we are. We woke up above the ground and let's get at it. Okay, today's Revit tip is going to be how to add another phase to your project. Let's just say that you've done a building for somebody and a year later, because you did such an excellent job and they love you, you get a repeat client and they want to make an addition to that project. And you're like, okay, how do we proceed? How do we, how do we take a project that has existing maybe and new construction, but then add another phase to it? <laughs> because uh, new construction is new construction. How's that going to work? Ah, well, put your mind at ease. Just stay tuned. Hey, I was out of focus. Stay tuned and we will get to your questions right now. All right, so let's flip over to Revit. Let's put my face over here on the mountain. Hey, what's going on over there? All right, now here's Revit. <clears throat> okay, what we want to do <clears throat> is... Let's go to 3D. Now here's our, our happiest little building. We are, we're familiar with this little building. Okay. Let's just say out the back, we've got a little bit of room here and <clears throat> there's a stair going on inside, but look at that blank area. I, this client, me today, would like to have a one story addition out the back because we came up with some new money, but let's take a look. Our floor plan shows all the objects are new construction, new construction, all the furniture, new construction, everything. It's all new construction because that's how I set it up previously in the other project. But when you want to add another phase, like an addition going on to this building, you can. And here's how easy it is. I'm going to go to manage, manage tab, and I'm going to click on phases. And these are the existing phases through time. Whenever you build something, not when you demolish something, demo is not a phase. Bing! Let that sink in. Building new things is a phase. You have an existing, there's existing objects either on the site, and when you build new things, that's a phase. And every time you add entire new things, that's a phase. You never add a phase for the demolition part. That is a verb. Demo is a verb. It happens during the new construction. When the contractor gets to the site, they start doing a verb called demo. Okay? Ooh. So here we go. I need a new phase here. So over here on the right, I can click on new construction. And then I say, I want a new phase after this one. And it suggests that it's going to be called phase number one. Well, I don't like that. I can't. I'm going to change that to um, addition 2020. Okay, in 2020, we're going to make an addition. I spell addition correctly, and then we'll be fine. Okay, so there we go. We've got, we just made a whole new phase. So there, video's done. <laughs> no, let's, let me show you how to use that new phase. Okay, suppose I want to make an addition out the back here, okay? So what I'm going to do is make another plan that would show that addition. So I can take my existing plan. I can just right click on it and say duplicate the view. If I duplicate it with detailing, that works perfectly fine. So it's, it's an identical copy, basically. I'm going to rename this to be, oh, I'm going to rename it to be my addition. Addition 2020. This is my plan of my addition for 2020. Now, what you need to do, <coughs> watch this. We need to set up what this view is going to look like. I want this view, the addition, to show me everything that has been here before as existing, like it's already been here. And then new stuff is going to show properly. So let me just show you the phases and the phase filters. We've got a handful of filters. Let me show you how to build a new one if you'd like. I'm going to say new. And I'm going to say I would like to show... Okay, show, I can't spell show, show existing, look, show existing plus um, new stuff, okay? 
Now, look at this. Anything new is going to be by its by the category, you know, typical category um, line weights. Anything that's existing is going to be overwritten by this tab. Anything demolished is going to be overwritten by this tab. Okay? I could tell the demolished stuff to actually not even show and just not even display anything demolished. No big deal. Or I could leave it to be overwritten. So it's up to you what you want on and what you want off. Temporary stuff means anything that is built and demolished inside the same phase. Like if you put up shoring. Okay? That kind of stuff. Okay. The graphic overrides that backed, wait a minute, filters. Anytime it says override, it uses this tab. So I'm going to click there. So anything existing is going to be grayed out and anything new is going to be dark and normal. Okay. So I just wanted to show you what this is. And demolished is going to have this line weight if I cut through it. Temporary stuff will be blue. I could make that any color I want. Anyway, let's walk away. So now that we've got the phase filter set up, what I want to do, this edition 2020, I need to set the phase for it. Wait for it. Look over here on the bottom right. The phase that this view is in is not new construction anymore. That's, that's old school. That's like last year. I'm going to switch it to be edition 2020. And you'll notice that everything goes gray, just like the phase filter overrides said they should. So now, if I pick this exterior wall, let's just say I pick this exterior wall, and I say create similar on my keyboard, and I want it to only go up to the second floor, I can, <coughs> I can draw out my addition right here. Look at that. And I don't want it to thing in like that, so I'm going to right click on that end and say disallow join. I'm going to pull it back so that it's just hitting the end of the building there. Same with this side. I want to disallow the join on that little dot and then I can pull it back and it won't crash in and try to tie in with the existing construction. I'm just going to build it clean and make an expansion joint there. And and let's just say maybe maybe I want to get rid of these chairs out of here or wait. <laughs> you, know, you don't have to demo chairs. You just have to move them, okay? So when it's when it's just chairs moving, okay, move them. Whatever. <coughs> <clears throat> let's say I want to I want to get into this room and I need I might have to reconfigure the stair to be able to get into there I might have to rebuild this no big deal or I um, I pull this addition maybe I pull this addition over to here on the side okay and get demolish that whenever you want to demolish something go to modify and there's a little hammer over here, okay? You can click on things with this little hammer and it demolishes them. <laughs> They're gone, ah, gone. Okay, and so let's just say I, I go up here and I have enough clearance so I can get out a door over there. So I'm gonna say, I would like a door into my addition over here, okay? And then I'm going to click on one of these windows we'll put windows on our addition sure so we can let a little bit of light in we'll rearrange where those windows go later but you see how this works guys this is already revit knows what to do if i am going to uh, <coughs> if i'm going to demolish this entire stair i can do that i would just go up here and get this little hammer i'm gonna say stair hammered and what it's done is it made the it made that stair um, invisible. It made it go away because I need my face filter just says show me previous. <clears throat> I'm going to um, set my face filter to none. Look at this. My face filter. I'm going to set it to show existing and new. Okay. So what it does is it dashes any it dashes in anything that's going to be demolished. And it, and I can kick the line weight up if I think the line weight needs to be um, better. Go back to phases and my overrides and my demolished line weight. Look at that line weight. No, no, no. Kick it up. Kick it up. Show me a six when things are demolished. So I know they're demolished. Bam. Okay. And so I want this stair. Look at this. This stair is. Um, <coughs> 
it's above me anyway. So what I'm going to do is override, I'm going to override the graphics by that um, element. And I am going to kick up, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I want to kick up all of the, um, the lines of that guy. <clears throat> mm -hmm, to a six and let me just change them all to be demolished and black. See if that does it for me. All right, so we're blowing that stair out and we're getting rid of this guy and we're cutting a door through so that we can get in underneath the stair and maybe I could put those chairs back, no big deal. Anyway, I wanted you to see how you can use an existing project and put in a new phase and then you have to tell the phase filter to use your phase filter that you built and then you can begin working forward. But all I had to do was create that phase, set up the filter that I wanted to use and tell the view that I'm using, duplicate the view and then tell this view that it is part of the new phase. Okay, I hope that helps. Hopefully you guys can now take an existing project that you're currently working on and move it into an addition. When you get a um, when you get a repeat client, that's always good. And you don't have to start your project from scratch. You can take the existing project you already have and use it for moving forward. All right. I hope that helps for you guys that uh, have repeat clients, so that you don't have to start from scratch every single time, especially if it's only a small addition. All right. Happy reveting, and until next time, get out there and get it done. Okay, talk to you later. Bye-bye.